Hi, it's Wesley with Expand the Craft. Although I'm not highlighting one of my Expand the Craft boats today, which except other than we are on an Expand the Craft, this is the Outrigger canoe. Uh, we call this one black and tan. Uh, I'm here for a little scientific experiment that we're doing here in Wakulla County uh, in Florida, but you can do in your own backyard as well. Now, this is just an experiment. We are going to um, hopefully uh, not eradicate, but get rid of a lot of the mosquitoes around here. And that's what this is. It's not a mosquito trap. It's a trap for the eggs and the larvae that mosquitoes lay. Essentially, everybody knows you're not supposed to leave old tires and things to collect water in your yard because that's where the uh, mosquitoes will uh, breed. Well, we're going to police the yard, but give them the perfect place to breed. Then we're going to collect and count the number of little wigglers that we get, the little uh, larvae. Um, one way to do it is you can, uh, with this little apparatus, I just took a piece of PVC pipe, it's a four inch pipe, a thin wall, capped it, split it in half, and cut it to uh, oh, about a four foot section here. And I filled the trough with water. Now use rain water. You don't wanna use tap water because that might have the chemical smell it uh, wouldn't be as attractive to a, uh, a mosquito to lay its eggs. Uh, so the idea is to every three days, you're going to take your water and tip it out either into a container or you could use like a black um, face mask so that the little larvae will show up and you count them. And so if you're gonna be a part of my experiment, I want you to count the number of larvae that are collected every three days and then hopefully what happens is the larvae will start uh, depleting because you will deplete a lot of the breeding mosquito population. Um, not going to get rid of them all and yes there are plenty of other places for um, mosquitoes uh, to lay their eggs especially if you live in a swamp which I have one away from me but I want to see how far uh, the radius is for one or three traps in your yard. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can collect the larvae, is you can look in there for these little wigglers. Now, I put some leaves so it's easier for the video to pick it up, but you can get a syringe, one of the fat syringes, or a turkey baster, and you can look for the little guy and go, and suck them right up. And if you just keep going around every three days and getting the little wigglers out, then you can count them even in the syringe, one, two, three, four, five and then shoot them on the ground, they'll die, and they won't develop. And um, I have done this myself in another yard, and it worked very well. I actually did bring down the population in my yard. Uh, it took several of these. Uh, this one is open so that you can observe and count the larvae so that you can count each individual. Um, for one that I would leave in my yard, I would take a whole pipe and just cut out the top part and just every few days rotate it. What I'd like to do is automate this with a little actuator that fills it up and tips it out every three days. Just whoop, out she goes. And will give um, uh, an automated uh, uh, system a little try. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's a very, very simple apparatus to make uh, and very simple way without any kind of poisons to help control uh, the mosquitoes in your yard and the more of your neighbors that you get involved in this if you get several neighbors around you uh, to participate one to police their yard and make sure that they're not uh, putting on a uh, unattended pile uh, uh, puddles of water but keep this uh, you do not want to put it out in the open like it is right now because if it rains in it then it's going to um, wash out the evidence we want to keep that so put it under the garage, under the house, somewhere where you can um, keep the rain from getting on it. And they want a cool place with the water uh, to lay their eggs. And that's just give, what we're going to give them. We're going to give them the perfect place to lay their eggs and then not allow those eggs to develop. Uh, you can uh, uh, pick up yours at Ace Hardware in um, Crawfordville. Uh, they have uh, been gracious enough to sponsor us uh, at least for a number of these traps uh, while they last or you can uh, build your own with uh, those materials we'll give you the, the blueprints 
Wesley Stevenson, Expandacraft. Let's kill some mosquitoes.